The huge no jumper drama involving Brick Baby and DW Flame from last week just got a whole lot worse. And here's the update. So if you're not aware about the drama, DW Flame accidentally said NAP, which is a derogatory term for neighborhood crips, when asking Brick Baby a neighborhood crip for a cigarette live on air. No, I, I put it in the notes. It's under the, uh, it's, it's, it's right, it's under the first two. You know. Okay, so why are we oh, doing yeah. that? I know. How long is this? This is an update video, so I don't want to rehash everything from last week. You can watch the first video for that. But a couple of important things to remember from last week's video is after that particular clip started to make his rounds on social media, other neighborhood crips began to call out Brick Baby and DW Flame, crips such as ODM Slim and Crip Mac himself. All the homies do this, start doing this, cuz. Start pulling up on these men. If you neighborhood crip. Because I got a show going on, a woo woo day, and we'll just pull up. Pull up, they do your attendance. The neighbors in a building. On oh, Crip, they do anything, spark their mother up. ODM Slim put out a Paul Revere notice asking all neighborhood Crips to pull up to DW Flame shows and spark it up if they are met by resistance. Now, Crip Mac called Brick Baby a custa, aka a buster. For not crashing out live on air and I guess socking out or going off on DW Flame for saying that particular word. And that lets me know what's going on with Brick Baby, huh? I said, what's going on with Cub? Well, Cub let DW Flame call the cigarette the neighborhood this word. No, you get it, Brick Baby. Where did this come come from? Which a back and forth ensued where Brick Baby essentially called out Crip Mac for not being as gangster as he portrays. It was a big deal. Watch the other video to hear the whole breakdown. But let's get to the updates though. So Brick Baby and DW Flame was on a No Jumper show and they spoke on the situation and offered up some type of explanation as to why they don't believe this should be treated as a big deal. That shit only matter to the people that don't matter, bro. But mm -hmm. even though they, even the niggas who say you should have crashed out, right? If niggas who say should have crashed out, if you was next to me, you wouldn't have crashed out neither, gang. Especially if it's the homie. We ain't finna crash out. You think if Cud say something, I'm just finna be like, oh, fire on Cud. For what? Cause we really chilling, doing our thug. So, Cud, that's the homie. He accidentally slipped up. I know I'm the truth. I'm not finna. I'm not never finna over over exaggerated situation i'm a real i done been a, a gang of places bro i fuck with a lot of people just now to us normal people and civilians what brick baby is saying makes absolute sense i'm at my place of business my job where i feed my family why would i crash out or make a scene and attack somebody i call a friend or homie because a word came out of his mouth that he quickly apologized for the second it came out of his mouth why would I crash out at my place of business over that? See, it sounds pretty reasonable and correct to us normal people, but this is gangland. And to exist in gangland, you have to go back to your basic primal animalistic instincts, and you can't think too much. So people expect the Brick Baby to absolutely crash out because Brick Baby is considered a five-star war general in gangland. Now, DW Flame, aka the Diesel Warrior, is also a five-star war general in his gangland. So they expected the two warlords to come together and battle it out and duke it out for the ears to see. But Brick Baby and DW Flame didn't do that because DW Flame said it was an accident. However, WAC 100, who was also another five-star war general in gangland, he stated it wasn't an accident, and as a matter of fact, it was a tactical war strategy by him. What I'm really doing. That's a fact. Who you think put DW Flame in at, at No Jumper? Whack. Come on, my nigga. So what you think I'm doing right now? I got him moving Set it out up. the way. Brick bitch. Wake the streets up, because you, you woke know what's up with going that on? One. Killing his credibility, marking him out. This is interesting, and let's break it down. Whack 100 just stated that when he brought DW Flame on the Adam and Wax show, the purpose was to get DW Flame a permanent job on No Jumper and get him in the doors, which actually worked because Adam made DW Flame a permanent host on the No Jumper show. Now, Wack 100 stated the reason why he wanted DW Flame to be a permanent host on No Jumper 
is because he was going to use DW Flame to pretty much get Brick Baby out the door of No Jumper and to take Brick Baby down. Now, why claims that DW Flame saying the NAP word on the No Statement show with Brick Baby, that that was intentional and that was planned by him and he instructed DW Flame to do so so he could essentially mark out Brick Baby live. Now, do I believe that this is the case? Quite frankly, I don't. I don't think this was all a mastermind or a master plan, but it is gangland, and there's only one rule to gangland, bruh, and that rule is watch the back door, man. <laughs> and that rule is watch the This last segment I just did Sunday, me and the homies, I had Lil John and Third in there. We had that clown. It's coming out in a couple days. And I'm like, yo, DW Flame is the next host coming up to No Jumper Adam, and you know it. He the strongest one coming up over the mother niggas. Them niggas ain't got no voice, no movement. And Adam agreed. I know it. I did that right after he marked Brick Baby out. Your credibility gone. Sharp's a fake pimp from Dago Vegas. He don't count. Oh, Block one from North you Dakota. You sharp as a blade. I'm a mute up. I know Man, what I'm okay. doing. And guess what? D Dub with me, been with me. I know what you brought him I on the show. Him. I broke him on my show. Y'all yeah. didn't pay attention to after he was on my show, he was end up over there with a seat. Yo. Seen it. This nigga new name is Sharp, Sharp, Sharp. Oh man. Anybody know me and tell you, if you think you playing with that nigga and you think you dealing with a deranged gang member, you already lost. Whatever he be let you see, that's what he wants. They gotta understand. This is extremely odd because Wack 100 and Brick Baby has been sworn enemies for what seems like forever. And Brick Baby stated that DW Flame is with him. Wack stated DW Flame is with him. So they're both saying DW Flame is with them. Now, I'm a civilian, so I can play the 50 and stay out the mess. But as a gang member, it's hard to play in neutral and play the 50 especially with two sworn enemies. So it's unclear who's telling the truth or what side Flame is on. But if this was WAC 100 planned all along, it would appear, bruh, it's working perfectly. Because here's live footage of Neighborhood Chris pulling up to No Jumper to have a conversation with Brick Baby and DW Flame about that three-second incident where NAP was repeated by DW Flame. So if WAC 100 was truly planning this out, if he's truly the mastermind behind this, then WAC 100 essentially was successful because they're turning on each other. Uh, I was coming here and uh, uh, talk to the home. Uh, ain't you about to do an interview right now? Uh, this is doing an interview with Brick Baby right now. Are they doing an interview with Brick Baby? Tell them we trying to do an interview. We trying to do an interview. I, 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 I thought Brick Baby was about to do an interview today too with DW Flame. Uh, we're doing the live stream after. Oh, the live stream at 4 is going to be a live stream? Yeah, yeah. I want to be present. Can I be present for that? Yeah. Tell him in the nigga that's... Uh, you're going to let me ask Brick. Oh, tell, yeah, tell him no Spotty Face out here. It's me and Spotty Face out here. He know already. Just tell him right here. Brick, you already know. Oh, you're going to let me ask Brick. Yeah, yeah. Tell him right here. Tell him right here. Tell him right now. Oh, I bet. The guy on the phone with Adam22 is 4Extra, who's also a warlord from 40 Crips. Now, 4Extra and the guy with him, they claim that Brick Baby denied them access and they were unable to get in to have a conversation with Brick Baby and DW Flame about Flame saying the NAP word. Now, it's unclear if Brick Baby actually denied them access or if it was a collective conversation or a group decision. Who knows? But when it comes to gangland, this is what happens, all right? Situations like this are often used as a marketing tool if you are a gang member, especially one who is in media. If I have, let's say, 5,000 subscribers and a podcaster who's also a gang member who has a million subscribers, if he messes up and he's in some controversy, well, I'm part of the same gang. I'm going to politic on him. I'm going to present myself as a figure of authority as if I'm representing my gang and I'm gonna call him out publicly and demand he has a conversation with me publicly because quite frankly, that will be the only opportunity you will get to sit down with that particular person. The Hispanics did it with Tiger. Tiger made a song called A Caramba. Uh, they believe that Tiger used some negative stereotypes about Hispanics in his song. 
So they pushed their line, they pressed their issue, and they pressed Tiger. And Tiger, a multi platinum artist who done sold millions of records, was forced to sit down with a representative of local LA Hispanics, and they was able to have that conversation because they pushed the line and they pressed the issue. So oftentimes it's really used as a marketing tool or an opportunity to sit down with somebody you really won't have the opportunity to without the controversy. Now, it looks like though, it's not just the 40 Crips who are upset because fellow neighborhood 60s Crip 600, he would come online and claim that there's a DP or he wants the DP Brick Baby. All right, man, listen, straight to the point. Brick Baby. You let down the whole neighborhood car. All right, whatever. You can say what you want. People can say what they want and clear things up. Your body language tells everything, okay? Now, some people may not feel you done it wrong, and that's cool. I can't speak for nobody else. A lot of people just weren't raised like me. Y'all know how, how I push. In my book, where I'm from, that ain't straight. And you can't run around this thing representing where I'm from carrying on the way you carry on. That ain't cool in my book. That's a DP. So, like I said, I don't know what anybody else calling you for DP. I summoned your DP and I'm going to handle it. Now, for y'all who don't understand what a DP is, a DP is short for discipline. Essentially, when you join a gang, you pretty much sign up to sell your soul and your rights away to the brotherhood. So, even though you may be a 45-year-old gang member with multiple kids, heck, even grandkids. If you do something wrong, other grown men can summon you to come and get a whooping, uh, a spanking, paddle boarding, or they can put you in timeout. Yeah, it's strange stuff, man. They punish you as if you are their three-year-old dependent, even though you are a grown man with grandkids, probably. So, it's been a few days now. You ain't showed up, you ain't called. I'm not about to be waiting days, 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 weeks, weeks, weeks. I'm not doing that, bro. If you don't show up by the night to handle your business, it's out of my hands. Everybody who called me and told me, like, hey, you brought dude back to the land. He was already on chopping block. What you gonna do? I'm a DP. I'm gonna call this DP. When they call this time, I'm gonna say, hey, bro, dude didn't show up. He fair game. Whatever anybody want to do with him, that's on them. I'm not saving no more. So that's it. Tonight, it's up. Now, this is odd and it's unclear exactly what's going on or if there's an actual summon out for Brick Baby because 600 and Brick Baby don't get along and they're enemies as well. So it's unclear if this is actually happening or not. Brick Baby is a really reputable gang member. He's a gangster. He's an OG. He done put in a lot of work. Usually when you reach the OG, OG status, you don't get called for DP. So I doubt that Brick Baby is actually being summoned or being called to the hood for a DP. I doubt that's the case, but I'm going to stay out of gang politics, bro. I don't know, right? I wouldn't expect somebody of Brick Baby's stature to actually be DP'd, but who knows? Is a gang is unpredictable, bro. I don't know what's going on, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section exactly what do you guys think is going on. And if you're still watching, click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out how Corey Holcomb got pressed by Donnell Rawlins for saying this at his comedy show. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.